What's up, everybody? It's your boy, T-Time Gaming, back with another video. And if you like this type of content, go ahead and like and subscribe to this video, man. This is going to be a really good video today because, fellas, we got the full reveal for the new EA College Football. What you are seeing now on the stream is part of the trailer of the full EA College Football game. And today it happened. Let's talk about it. So as we know, yesterday was the cover athletes being unveiled, which would have been Donovan Edwards, also as well, Quinn Ewers, and Travis Hunter. And then they also revealed that the full reveal would have been today at 11 o'clock. Um, and, you know, we've been waiting on this day for so long. We knew this was going to be a big day for the community. And we finally got to see it. And I'm telling you guys now, this trailer was amazing. We also got a lot of information about the game modes. That'll be coming out, so we'll be covering that too today as well, in-depthly. So we'll definitely be covering that as well. But right now, I really just want to focus on the initial feelings of the trailer. So one thing I immediately realized is that this team really focused on atmosphere big time. We know that, you know, in college football, atmosphere is one of the biggest things. You can tell they really put their hard time and effort into this. And I'm not going to lie, you can feel it in the trailer. It gets you excited. It shows a lot of different traditions. I was super hyped up. They did exactly what they wanted to do, get us hyped. They did a really good job with just being able to show the atmosphere in the college game and how it's different from Madden, and I loved every bit of it. They showed several different interests coming in. They showed Clemson's. Uh, they showed Duke, Wyoming. I mean, they were showing everybody. App State. The App State stuff looked amazing, man. This is how it starts out right here. They show Howard's Rock at Clemson. They show Notre Dame coming down. I mean, it was just tremendous. It's just beautiful. You can tell that this game is going to be very very detailed, man. Um, it was cool seeing the real players' names on the back of the jerseys, too, man. I thought that was really dope as well. But I'm telling you now, you can already tell environment and the interest of the game. It's going to be one of the biggest things you'll see in this game, man. I mean, look at this. This looks realistic. Look at this Texas people coming out. Look at Wyoming coming out. This looks realistic, man. Clemson coming down the hill. I mean, these graphics are insane. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I was really impressed with the graphics. I thought they did a really good job just doing a great job getting us hyped up. I thought this part right here with the dude with USC striking the Trojan down, I thought that was absolutely amazing, man. I'm not going to lie. But, yeah, man, this game is going to be full of just hype and atmosphere. I can tell you that now. And just by looking at this trailer, I get excited every single time I see this trailer. I've seen this trailer already like 10 times. I don't care. I'm going to continue watching. Look at this. Like, I just love this. This looks really good. The gameplay looks really crisp. Now, I'm not going to lie. The juke moves are giving me a little bit of a Madden vibe. I'm going to be honest. So I am a little concerned there. I do want to see more gameplay. But I did like some of the gameplay. I seen it there, like the dragging the one foot right there. I thought that was really nice. The team celebration. I thought were really dope as well. I love seeing South Carolina get juked like that. That made me happy. I'm not going to lie, man. This right here, the celebrations are insane, by the way. Like, the, the celebration they have on here are nuts. I thought they did a really good job with creating the environment of college football as far as celebrations, stuff like that, traditions. They did a really good job with that. Now, let's start talking about some of the things that were released after the EA put out. After the full reveal, they put out like a kind of like a, a, a news form, kind of addressing some of the things that are going to be in the game. And let's go ahead and jump into that first. And shout out to Matt Brown because he put this out on his Twitter, and that's where I found it. So shout out to Matt Brown. All right, so this is what I posted on the screen right here. It's coming straight from EA's direct mouth. Um, I'm not going to read all this. This just pretty much talks about, you know, hey, we're excited about the game coming back, so forth, so forth. We use Campus IQ, which is, I guess, another company that's kind of helped them with the gameplay. It says this, this is going to kind of create a wide-open, fast-paced gameplay uh, to deliver for EA College Football. They're the one who did it. Um, pretty much in this message here, it says, it matches the explosiveness of college football game day, whether you keep it on the ground with the Army flex bone offense or take it to the sky with the U.S. C air raid offense, a range of player ratings that fluctuate throughout each game, team tiers, and in-game passing mechanics custom to college play brings a gameplay feel unique in college football. All right, so underneath that stuff there, there are three bullet points that talk about the explosive college gameplay. There's a bullet point that says wear and tear system. There's a bullet point that says pre-snap recognition. And also as well, there's a bullet point that says home field advantage. Let's talk about all three of those. So on the first bullet point, wear and tear system. As the hits add up, people wear down with the wear and tear system. Manage your player's health, limit fatigue, assess risk of injury, and avoid on-field mistakes by using 
strategic substitutions to ensure your players are at the best when it counts the most. What this tells me is you're going to have to have at least two down running backs, maybe even three, possibly. You're not going to be able to just run the same guy 100 times a game and he not get hurt. This shows me that there's going to be some type of fatigue factor in this game, which is huge. And this is also going to be huge for recruiting because when you are recruiting a guy out of the transfer portal or after out of high school, you're going to have to be able to give him some playing time because they're going to probably – I'm more so thinking about the linebackers and running backs when they're talking about this because those guys – and O-linemen too even. They take the ground and pound, but mainly running backs is what I'm talking about here mostly. This is where you're going to have to recruit like two running backs, I think a class almost at this point. And this is something that we wanted in the new game. Next up, they talk about pre-snap recognition. Pre-snap recognition makes decisions behind every snap matter more. Do you trust your high-skill senior or take a risk with your untrusted freshman? Read the game, then read your player to make the right decision when the game is on the line. This is huge because this pretty much tells me you're going to have to do a little bit of coaching here. Do you want to put a guy that you kind of trust in here, a guy that might be a little bit more of a veteran, or do you want to put an inexperienced freshman in here? That's what real college football coaches have to deal with at times, and I think that's going to be huge especially in Dynasty, especially in Road to Glory and stuff like that, that is going to make a difference. I think that's tremendous. Next up on the same thing, it's it's talking about the home field advantage. We already kind of know this, though, because they do kind of have this in Madden. It says, game-altering home field advantages rattle your rivals in college football's toughest places to play. Test your squads, road game composure, and confidence levels as you play through distractions like screen shaking, missing play reads, and also as well moving play art. This is similar to Madden. Madden has done this in the past. Even the old NCAA is kind of did something like this in the past so this is not really that crazy but it has happened before but still a good thing to have in the game now on this second screenshot i have posted this is where things get fun they talk about the pageantry they talk about these traditions and talk about the game modes which we're really going to dive into the pageantry and, and traditions you know we already kind of seen that throughout the trailer so i'm not gonna really talk about that much commentary um pretty much long story short if you're in a big game uh, let's just say Clemson versus Georgia, you're probably going to get Chris Flower and Curtis Herbstreit. If you are Kennesaw State against Sam Houston, you're going to get the other guys, which is going to be Jesse Palmer, Reese Davis, and David Pollock. So that's pretty much how that's going. Now, here is where things get fun. Let's talk about the different game modes. Dynasty is one of the first things they bring up. Now, this got me really excited, guys, and I'm trying to contain my excitement while I'm recording this video, but every time I hear it, it gets me excited. This is what they say about Dynasty. It says, a new standard for college football greatness, whether building your own dream team college football stars and legends, recruiting a winning roster, or developing a coaching staff. Keep that in mind because we're going to come back to that. Developing a coaching staff. Lead your program to the heights as a creative coach. Balance student-athlete life. Take home the Heisman as a player or get competitive online in your college football experience for your choice. Okay, now let's talk about what's next. Dynasty. So with Dynasty, they say create a coach and take control of your own college football program. Establish your coaching staff and work to recruit the best talent either straight from high school or directly from the transfer portal. Coaching archetypes and skill trees empower you to run your program uh, on your own, the way you would want to, even in, in the new 12 team college football playoff, or create your own college football program with customization tools on the Team Builder website. So, you guys, that mean Team Builder is back. You are going to be able to go to that same website. I think they said there's going to be a trailer for the web for the Team Builder in June. I was hearing on a Discord. I don't know if that's confirmed or not, but. There's Team Builder. We're going to have that big, which, I, like I said, I think Matt Brown kind of hinted at that pretty, like, convincingly, but people still was like, oh, I don't know. But Team Builder is definitely back. What that last thing also tells me is that, you guys, we're going to be able to hire and fire our own coaches, I think. I could be wrong, but why would they say develop your own coaching staff? I think we're going to be able to fire and hire coaches. I could be wrong. This is not breaking news or anything like that. But from what they're saying here, I think you're going to be able to hire and fire your own coaches. In the old game, the computer would pick your coaches for you. I think you might actually have the luxury this time around to fire and hire coaches. Now, the next thing that people are going to ask about is online dynasty. Yes, 
There will be an online dynasty. They are going to allow 32 users to be in an online dynasty. Back in the day, it used to be 12. Now there is 32. So online dynasty will be happening as well. And that has been confirmed by EA. Now this next part gets me even more excited. Road to glory. Let's talk about it. Live the life of a student athlete with your created player and take home the Heisman as you build your unforgettable college football legacy. Manage your weekly schedule, GPA, and your image and earn coaching trust to get more playing time or use the transfer portal to get your glory you deserve. You guys, for you younger cats, y'all probably don't remember like NCAA 04, 05, 06. You had to decide, do I want to go to class? Do I want to work out? Do I want to go to a party? It sounds like they're bringing that back. And it sounds like this could possibly happen in Dynasty mode as well, which means players could possibly get in trouble and get suspended. I, I kind of want to say they're bringing that back. I could be wrong. Again, I'm not Nostradamus, but from what this is giving, that's kind of what it's telling me that we're going to be able to get suspended possibly. We're going to be able to you know, be able to make our own schedule, be able to make our own choices. If we fail a class, we're cooked. You know what I'm saying? I think we're going to be able to do all those things in this game, which gets me even more excited and gives me more freedom as well as far as creating content too. So what this tells me is pretty much real life decisions are going to be able to be made in this EA college football game in Road to Glory, which is huge. Let's talk about the Road to the College Football Playoffs real quickly. Experience a new way to play competitively across consoles, so it's going to be cross-play. Let's go ahead and just throw that in here now. Into the road to the college football playoffs. We'll represent your university or take a school to climb the polls. Earn rank by upsetting tough opponents and securing the votes you need to progress and level up divisions. Play your way into the playoffs and battle for a national championship. Pretty much the old dynasty mode. Now, I wish they would have did a little bit more of a deep dig on realignment, but maybe that's another video. They might drop another video later on at a later day. Now, College Football Ultimate Team, we know the community doesn't really care about the Ultimate Team, but some people do. So I'll, I'll read it. Build your own team of college football stars and legends. Play solo challenges or head-to-head -head season, whatever, to upgrade your squad and take on the toughest contest. Test your skills across consoles in more competitive formats like College Football Ultimate Team, Champs, and Champs Gauntlet. Again, we don't really care about that, but some people do. So I do want to at least give the Ultimate Team people some credit, but... I think this game is going to be mostly focused on Dynasty. Now, what I'm going to post next are some nice screenshots that we've seen throughout this trailer. All right, so now I'm going to show you guys some of the screenshots from today's full reveal, man. I mean, look at this screenshot of Travis Hunter making that same interception he made last year down there in TCU in the first game of the year. I mean, it's just incredible. They got a picture here of UCLA versus USC. Here on the line, I mean, this looks tremendous, man. It looks really good. Um, the color waves just look really good. It just looks really crisp. Uh, I mean, the details in this game are insane, man. They got Oklahoma as well coming out of their tunnel. It looks nice. They got a a, a picture of Oscar Delp, Duke and a South Carolina player. Um, it's insane, man. I mean, I'm just posting up some of these images now, as y'all can see. But this game is going to be very detailed, folks. And we are back. We are live and loaded, and I'm super excited, man. Now, also as well, on that College Football Direct Twitter page, um, there is also some more screenshots on there. They show, like, the National Championship trophy and the confetti and also as well just laying on the ground there. They show that as well. I mean, it just looks so crisp. I'm putting up the screenshots here. But I'm telling you guys now, this game is going to be really detailed, and I just cannot wait to create more content with this game, and I'm super excited, man. Y'all definitely got to follow this YouTube channel because we'll definitely be doing a series here. And get in the comment section as well, man, and let me know what are the first things you want to see me do on this channel with this. I'm definitely doing a road to glory. I'm definitely doing a uh, start a coach and start building up a team. I'm definitely doing all that, man. We're going to have so much fun on this channel with this game. I also should have said this at the beginning of the video. If we get to a thousand subscribers before July the 16th, which is when I'll start playing the game, we will be giving away two free copies or at least paying for somebody to get the game for free, the $70 version. So super excited about that. I definitely want to do a give back. And this is my give back and my way to give back to the community. But again, man, we're so close, fellas. 59 days and counting if you got the pre-order edition. We are here. We should be hearing a lot more from EA going forward at this point. Um, now that the full reveal is out, 
I'm guessing, I would say maybe the beginning of June, you're going to get another trailer about Dynasty. Then maybe the middle of June, you'll get a trailer about Road to Glory. Kind of like what they do in Madden. They put out an initial trailer, and then they put out the different game modes trailers. More like a deep dive. So I'm guessing that's what we wait for next. But man, I'm stoked. I'm excited. You guys, we are finally here. And I'm just stoked, man. Let's go. But anyway, if you like this type of content, go ahead and like and subscribe to the video. And we will see you guys next time.